Hey everybody, this is Jason Paradise Kuntz, and I'm the Community Manager at Ubisoft on Toy Soldiers War Chest. I'll be helping with presenting our weekly video. If you haven't seen the previous ones or you want some more information about Toy Soldiers War Chest, I recommend going back on the Ubisoft YouTube channel, checking out. We have a couple of commented demo videos, a video focusing on the heroes in the game, as well as one focusing on the different armies. This week, however, we're going to be diving deeper into vehicles for both Kaiser and Starbright. Vehicles are special units that you can deploy once you've earned enough action points in-game. When you do, it's going to bring you an extra edge to your fighting ability. You're going to have a huge strategic advantage. For Kaiser, this unit is the A7V Landship. It's a huge, massive tank equipped with a cannon so that you can shoot down your opponents. On the other hand, you have Starbright that has a Pegasus. And it comes equipped with a Cavetti Bomb and a Golden Horn. These units can traverse the entire map even further than the board limits and uh, can definitely change the flow of a battle. Vehicles are unlocked after you earn enough action points and when you activate it, it will consume those action points. Once used, you'll need to accumulate action points again if you want to redeploy the vehicle. I'd like to take the chance to also answer some questions that came through on social media this week. The first one is from Kurt on Facebook. He asks, in what ways have you improved the attacking soldier animations when they're stopping to fight. Our animators have added a lot of personality to the units in this game. For example, let's say we've got a soldier running down the pathway and he accidentally trips on a rock. You'll see that. Additionally, you might see a unit get stuck in barbed wire or even turn to a fellow soldier to celebrate a good shot they just took. We also tried to make the units a little bit more intelligent, so they have to decide when it makes sense to stop and shoot at a target or when they should attack the toy box directly. These units overall are a lot smarter than in previous Toy Soldiers games. Another question comes in from YouTube, which is, how big are the maps? It's a little bit of a tough one to answer, considering every map is going to be different in Toy Soldiers War Chest. Some will be large, sprawling battlefields, while others will be a little bit more compact. Every different map is going to provide a different play style. That about does it for this week, but please keep the questions coming. If there's a subject you want us to cover, let us know, and we'll do our best to answer that in a future video. Until next time.